Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I achieve this makeup look right here. Did I really just do that with my hands? Yes I did, I'm so sorry. But today I'm going to show you guys how I achieve today's makeup look. And I'm really loving how this makeup look turned out. I love how the eyes are like sultry and like sexy and I'm really loving glossy lips right now. A lot of the makeup products I used in today's video were actually first impressions. So they were the first time I even used these makeup products. I've been very negligent on my YouTube. I don't know if that's the right word, but I've definitely been slacking and all of you guys have been letting me know on Twitter and in my comments like Nas where are you and honestly it's just because I've been traveling so much like I was just in Miami and then less than two weeks later I get flown to LA like last minute so I couldn't even you know pre-film any videos for you guys I definitely feel like I've been slacking and I'm so sorry for that so as a peace offering and a I'm sorry for being a trash youtuber gift I got you guys the same palette so if you guys want a chance to win this palette all you have to do is click on the link down below and subscribe to this channel as well as my vlog channel and then also you can unlock more entries by following me on Twitter and Instagram to increase your chances of winning but if you guys want a chance to win the palette I use in today's video be sure to do that down below and yeah without further ado let's just get into this makeup look so today I'm not going to be using a different primer I'm just going to be using my go-to Too Faced hangover primer and I'm just going to be applying this all over my face Guys, I have the biggest kinks in my hair right now. I took like the fattest nap before this video. Guys, I took like the best nap of my life and then I had a leftover burrito in the fridge. Oh my God, it was like perfection. So for my foundation, this isn't a first impressions either, but this is the first time I'm using this on camera, like on YouTube and stuff. But I think this has now replaced my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and that's like literally my top favorite foundation. I never thought I could say I like a foundation more than that one, but I think it's replaced by this. This is the Hourglass Stick Foundation. This is the um, Vanish Stick Foundation. Y'all, I'm about to put you on to the best foundation brush ever. It is this one. It is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Complexion for Perfection brush. It is double-sided, so there's like a smaller brush and then a bigger brush. This brush right here is hands down like the best foundation brush ever. This is what I use to blend out my stick foundation. Guys, this brush is so good. Even Makeup by Mario uses to apply the foundation when I went to his master class. I think you guys can just tell how amazing this foundation is just by like looking at my face. Like it looks like I just put like a new layer of flawless, like perfect skin and I love it so much. Definitely try this out if you haven't already and this brush if you haven't already. So this is gonna be a first impressions on this concealer and this is the NARS Soft Matte um, concealer and I'm in the shade custard so I've never owned a concealer like in this type of form so I'm not sure what brush to use I have all my brushes right here this is the Sedona Lace EB11 brush so I think this is dirty though is it I'm gonna wipe it off just to be safe I'm gonna go get some paper towels and I'll be right back see guys this is why you clean off your brushes before you use them because I would have just like wiped that all underneath my under eye and that would have not been cute so I'm just picking it up on this brush and just applying it and a triangular shape underneath my eyes. Mm. So far, so good. I really like the shade that I picked. So right off the bat, I can see that this concealer went on very like creamy and easy so I'm gonna see how well it blends out I'm just taking my beauty blender right off the bat I could say that this concealer blends out super easily like it's super blendable and I definitely think it's a very like lightweight look and a lot of my concealers are a lot more heavier than this but I feel like this is such a great like lightweight concealer to set my face I'm taking the Kat Von D translucent powder and this is another product I'm gonna be trying out for you guys on camera like it's not even open yet so I need to peel off this little I'm 
I'm so messy when it comes to translucent powder, like it gets everywhere. But I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and just pick up a little bit of the translucent powder just to set like the rest of my face. You always want to do this before you go in with your bronzer and stuff because if your foundation is still like wet and you try to put bronzer over it or contour, it's gonna look really muddy if your face is like sticky, if you know what I mean. So we're gonna leave this on for a few minutes and then, ooh, almost dropped it, <laughs> come back to it. But for bronzer, I actually just got a PR package from Becca and they sent me all of their new bronzers, their new sunlit bronzers. And this one is in the shade Capri Coast, which they recommended for light to medium skin tones. This definitely isn't a contour powder, this is definitely a bronzer, but um, I think this brush isn't a good brush to use with it because this is a good brush for contouring, not really for bronzing. So the brush that I feel like would be better to apply this is the Morphe M527 brush. There we go. Yeah, I definitely recommend using a big fluffy brush to apply this. This bronzer is so pretty, you guys. Like, it literally is the definition of sun kissed, in my opinion. This is the Sedona Lace 367 brush. No, three, 376 brush. I'm just going to wipe away all that powder. Now, for my under eyes and stuff, I like to use a more dense brush like this one. This is the Luxie 532 Round Top Blender. My skin is looking so good, y'all. Like, I'm just looking in the mirror and I'm like, I look glowing, I look healthy, like, yes, boo. But I'm just gonna be applying some blush to kind of warm up the face. And this is the Balm Balm Beach Blush. And this is in the shade Warm It Up. This is the first time I'm trying out this blush and I love it. I feel like it just gave my skin such a nice, like, healthy pink sheen. It doesn't look too much at all. So I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows real quick and then we'll move on to the eyes. So I just quickly filled in my eyebrows using my Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Medium Brown. And I'm just going to set them in place with some Anastasia Brow Gel. So I always, always, always clean up underneath my eyebrows with some concealer. So I'm just taking my NARS concealer again with my favorite brush for this. This is the Sedona Lace EB21 brush. I'm not sponsored by Sedona Lace, by the way. I feel like all my brushes have been Sedona Lace. But I'm just going to pick some of this up and rub it on the back of my hand just so we don't get too much product and clean up underneath my eyebrows. Now I'm just grabbing my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and I'm just going to use this to blend out that concealer as well as apply some more concealer to my eyelids so it kind of acts as a primer for our shadows. And this is like the perfect brush for this step, you guys. Just taking some more translucent powder, I'm just going to apply that to my eyelids. So now we're finally going to start on the eyes. So taking my Tarlet in Bloom palette, starting out with this shade right here in the shade Smarty Pants, I'm just going to be applying that as my transition shade with my Morphe M441 brush. Next shade I'm going to grab is this shade right here called Rebel, and I'm just going to be applying that right underneath where we applied the first shade. I'm just going to use the same brush for that. Right, so I'm going to be taking this... I think I'm going to be taking Leader in Activist. I actually ended up not using this darker shade right here, Activist. I'm just using the shade Leader to do this halo eye. And um, it's dark enough in my opinion. And I'm just using the Morphe M433 for that. But for the inner corner, which is kind of hard to reach, I'm taking the Morphe E18, which is like a little bullet brush. center of my halo eye, I'm going to take this shade right here called Firecracker and I'm going to use this brush. This is the Makeup Shack T6 brush and I'm just going to spray it with some rose water just to, well, this isn't the rose water one, this is the one with aloe and cucumber and stuff and I'm just going to put that in the center of my halo eye.
So taking this white shade right here, it's in the shade Charmer, I'm just going to highlight underneath my brow bone. I actually ended up mixing a Funny Girl and Firecracker together to do the center of my halo eye because I felt like uh, Firecracker wasn't shimmery enough. But I'm really digging this eyeshadow. This palette is honestly amazing for spring. It has a great color selection and I feel like you can do a lot of different looks with it. So now I'm just applying some mascara. This is the Clinique Chubby Lash to prep for some falsies. So the lashes I'm going to be using today are these ones at the bottom. And these are Luxie Lash in the style Baby Doll, I believe. Taking that same Morphe E18 brush, as you guys can see, I really like utilize paper towels when I do my makeup. But I'm just going to be wiping it off and then going back into my palette to apply shadow to my lower lash line. I'm going to be taking first the shade Rebel and smudging that on my lower lash line and then going in with Leader. And then I'm going to be applying some brown eyeliner. This is the Marc Jacobs liner in the shade Brownie. And I'm just going to be applying that to my lower waterline. So I'm taking my Ulta Glitter Eye Top Coat to highlight my inner corners. Moving on to highlight, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I have yet to use this and I am so excited to try it out. I'm going to take my Anastasia A23 brush. This is the best brush for highlighting. And I'm going to try it without wetting my face first. I usually spray my face with some Mario Badescu spray. I just zoomed you guys in so you can get a better look at this highlighter. I'm not really feeling it. I don't really think I like it. Like... To me, it just looks super chunky. Like, I feel like the glitter isn't, like, fine enough. Let me try wetting my brush. No, I'm gonna wet my face. I definitely like the highlighter way more after I went in my face first because at first I was like, eh, like it's definitely not my fave. I don't know, I feel like it looks kind of streaky on my face. Like let me know if you guys agree, but I feel like it looks like a streak. I didn't like the first glow kit, so I was really, really hoping that maybe I would like this one. So for lips, I'm going to line them with this new lip liner that I have. This is the Pickup Liners in the shade Acute One. So for my lip color today, I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade So Cute. So last but certainly not least, I'm just going to set my makeup with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I use a ton of settings for you guys, like my face needs to feel wet or I do not feel like it's set, if that makes sense. <laughs> that rhyme. I'm just going to go fix up my hair real quick and I'll be right back. So that's it for today's makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe down below for more videos. I love you guys so much and hope you guys all enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope to see you again on here for my next video. Bye my loves.